Hello guys, I've got my mask on and uh, my boarding pass ready. This can only mean one thing. Today we are flying EasyJet to Basel Airport. So follow me on a new adventure. Here we are just after security. The process took us about 45 minutes due to a lack of organizations. Here is a bit of the view. So it's mostly EasyJet and Wiz. Here's our EasyJet Europe. This won't be my flight. My flight will be EasyJet Switzerland. And there's a few Wiz and it's quite a calm airport. You might notice a difference in sound. This is because I decided to go for a voiceover. My sound wasn't too good. So our flight today will be EasyJet 1126 to Basel Airport as shown on the screen. It is now time to go to the departure halls. So I suggest you make your way to the airport an hour and a half before your flight as there's a lot to do after security and security is usually quite slow. This airport doesn't have a lot of views. I will show you a few as I go along. It's really not the airport for plane spotting. The views are very limited. Here you can see Volatia, EasyJet, and you can also see the new uh, ITA sporting the old Alitalia livery. This is now uh, the new iteration of the Italian flag carrier, um, but not all the fleet has been repainted. And another easy jet, of course, this airport is very famous for holiday makers. We are now going to slowly make our way to the waiting areas. As you can see, they are all still COVID compliant with social distancing, Italy being one of the last remaining countries where you have to socially distance by law. Although this might not be true when you're seeing this because all of the COVID measures will end by the end of May. As you can see, the airport is quite quiet and there's a lot of offerings for things to eat. We will personally eat at this little snack, which I believe is called Morena or Morena, but I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. Italians in this video, please comment below what the correct pronunciation is. As you can see, it's quite nice. It's called Marina, I think, but still, I can't pronounce that. I had a very nice pizza. Uh, this was very tasty for an airport food, probably the best in all the airports I've been to so far. It is now time to board, so let's make our way to the gate. Today's gate will be gate Alpha 6 or A6 for those who don't know aviation. Let's see you airside. So today we will be flying on uh, EasyJet Switzerland's A320CO with sharklets. This is not a Neo as the engines are slightly different. Our ride today is Hotel Bravo, Juliet X-Ray Oscar or HBJXO for those who don't know the ICAO alphabet, which is what is used to spell letters in aviation. Configured in a 186 economy only layout. Every seat is manufactured by Recaro, which is a famous airline seat manufacturing company that does business class and economy class. Obviously, EasyJet only has economy. Let's have a closer look. Today, we will be sitting in seat 14A with a tray table as shown. Quite sturdy, quite reasonable. In front of you is advertisement as this is a low cost company. And this is how they make money. It's quite a basic seat, nothing very interesting. There's an armrest and there's also a literature pocket underneath you, which I will show now. And that's pretty much it. EasyJet does not offer free food, so here's the menu. Quite a lot of variety um, at quite reasonable prices. There's also meal deals and all that kind of stuff. So here's the menu. to do. I would like to say that this was one of the best flights with EasyJet. A red-eyed flight, so not much service, but very comfortable. Before we knew it, it was already time to prepare the cabin for landing. 
I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. And it is time now for you to enjoy the landing. But in the meantime, I would like to ask you to kindly like, comment and subscribe. Please share the video as this would really help me. Now enjoy the scenes as we slowly approach Basel Airport.